Hey guys, what is up everyone? Today I have a quick fix for you for the PUBG micro stutter issue. Uh, this guide probably only applies to you if you have an NVIDIA card. Excuse my voice also, I'm a little bit sick, but I still wanted to quickly get out this video to help a few of you guys. Um, I followed a couple of guides before that said it could solve the micro stutter issue. Uh, it didn't do it for me. Uh, the guide stated to disable the full screen optimizations and the game bar. I did do that and it didn't resolve the issue for me. So I digged a little bit deeper and I figured that I just recently uh, reinstalled Windows. So I was still using the Nvidia drivers that came automatically with the new Windows installation and I didn't specifically install the Nvidia drivers from their site, which includes the Nvidia GeForce Experience. So I went ahead and downloaded the driver. So that's your first step if you haven't done that or if you have the same problem like me that you just installed Windows and are still using the only uh, the Windows drivers. So head over to Nvidia and select your graphics card and click on search <clears throat> and then download the, new the newest drivers for your card and install them. Uh, what I did is I did a clean reinstall. So you have an option there to check uh, clean or reinstall or something, reinstall drivers completely fresh. Uh, you have to do that or I recommend you to do that. At least that's the way I did it. And uh, once that is done, we will quickly go through the steps. So the first thing we do is we open Steam. <clears throat> we go to our game library and we right click on player unknowns battlegrounds we click on properties and we click on local files and we click on browse local files now let me pull that up here all right then you are in the pubg folder in steam and you want to click on tsi game or tsl game whatever that is and then on binaries win64 and you want to right click the tsl or tsi game exe and click on properties <clears throat> and then you want to click on the compatibility tab and you might have to tick this i don't know i had to do it so you click on that and then you want to disable full screen optimizations all right uh, i think that's a microsoft feature that uh, is not yet uh, very well performing for all of the games so uh, just do that that's the step i did too then close that up again, click on OK, uh, close that up again, close that up again, close that up again. And the next thing we want to do is we want to disable the Microsoft Game Bar. So uh, hit your Windows key, type in Game, and then you see the control how Game Bar opens and recognizes your game setting. Click on it. <clears throat> and then you want to switch this off record game clips, screenshots and broadcast using game bar. And you also want to untick show game bar when I play full screen games, Microsoft is verified. All right, that's that. That's the only thing we need to do here. So close that up again. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to right click in here. And by the way, if you haven't installed the Nvidia drivers properly, you won't see this a uh, little icon in your taskbar down here, all right? So make sure you have it installed properly. And then you right click it and you wanna go to Nvidia GeForce Experience. If you open it for the first time, you need to sign up with Nvidia and create an account. It's very quickly done. So do that in case. And also if you just install the driver, it's still scanning for your game. So that might take a couple of minutes until it enables the settings for you. So then you want to hover over uh, PUBG your PUBG game and click on details. Now as you can see I already optimized the settings but you will most likely have a button here. Well, we can check that up in another game. Let's quickly head back uh, which is not optimized Fallout 4. Okay. And uh, it's unable to retrieve probably because I haven't restarted yet. So anyway, let's go back to PUBG. You will have a button here somewhere or here wherever where is written optimize settings or optimize game and then it will automatically apply the optimal settings for your computer specs so in my case uh, it looks like this <clears throat> and when that's done you should have a green 
check mark here, game is optimized or on the right side here too. And uh, that's your desired outcome. So you then you want to close it up again and then you just want to Maybe you want to restart your computer after you install the NVIDIA drivers. I would recommend you to do that. And uh, after all the steps are done, you can run Player Announce Battleground and the microstutter issue should be gone. I just played around and for me, I didn't have any microstutter. I had a microstutter uh, when was the uh, loading, the one minute loading phase where the hundred people were running around in the same location. There was a little bit of stuttering, but I quite think that's normal. Uh, but once I landed on the ground and I actually went to play the game, I had about 45 minutes or something uh, playtime without any stuttering. As I said, it might work for you, it might not work for you, it depends on your computer specs, on a lot of different kind of factors, but it helped me, it might help you, I hope it helps you. If it did, subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up for the video and also check out the written article uh, on this issue which I put in the description below that's a step-by-step -step guide on my website for you to follow through if you prefer to read then uh, to watch the video all right guys I hope that helped see you on the next video bye